Okay, continuing along with my playthrough of Bard's Tale 3, I've totally lost my rhythm because uh, I did about 10 minutes of play and the emulator crashed, so 10 minutes of progress lost. Uh, on the right hand side, we have um, the second level of the catacombs. And uh, I was just going to sit there idling for a bit because. Um, uh, we're not at the catacombs. We just finished doing some inventory shuffling. And saving off uh, gems to banking characters who I uh, imagine are people that we stop by and periodically give money to for showing us that they still have our things. Last time I went to all this effort to uh, change the day cycle to day, restore my spell points a little more. This time, screw it. I don't, I'm just gonna go. I'm around 1,400 points away from having all my party members level up. So, in about in a little while, I'm going to make a trip off to the Adventurer's Guild, get new spells. Tarjan, I say. It's sort of weird that I have to prove that I know the Mad God's name because he just blew this town up and I think people were talking about him. I mean, I guess most of them are dead. Anyway, here's our little view of this dungeon, blurry such that it is. Uh, to get through here, I go... Oh, this is off the bottom. East, north, east, north through here, and then across a bunch of doors, and there are the stairs. There I am headed east, turning north, there's a trap ahead. East again, turning, there's a fight. I think there's a scheduled fight here. Star Flare. That's a very large percentage of the experience points I need. Oh, and a shield ring. I think I'm not I'm not overstocked on those. Does Chantrell have a shield ring already? Yes. What about Lady Oak Shield? It is a little boring that all these um she has one. These pictures of my party members look the same. They bit off a little more than they could chew when they started to make male and female versions of a lot of um, party members. And making them for each class differently was, uh, they just didn't do it. Okay, my Grisnak is now down to minus eight from the prior minus six. It's not bad at all.
Those vile creatures, creepers are toasted. Okay. I will say I don't know why um, the enemies are so monocolor in this version. I don't know, maybe it's an Apple II artifact because this game is on that platform too, which had six colors total. Anyway, I have enough experience points to level up, so I'm headed back the way I came. of emulator glitch again. I think it has to do with entering and leaving warp mode, interacting with the sound playback. Now last time I did this I got completely terrible stats raised. Maybe I'll be better this time. Oh, I'm actually short by more than a small amount misjudged. One imp. Are you going to be enough? Probably not. Oh, no, you are. Okay. money for spells, so I'm going to pull it. Put all my money in one place where I can pay for things. A point of luck. Constitution for a paladin. This is so much better than last time. Uh, Bard died, so it was fine on it. Uh, experience. The mate, the rogue got constitution. Sadly, my conjure gets strength, and more reasonably, magician gets luck. Okay, gain new spells. And to review the spells I just got. Anti-magic and giant strength. I don't use either of these a lot. Anti-magic increases saving throws, so it's pretty good, but oftentimes you'd rather kill them than increase your chance to resist their spells. And giant strength, which uh, buffs a fighter for one combat. Um, usually I don't do that because it's not cheap, and... Either fights are easy and you don't need any spells, or fights are hard and you'd rather be doing massive damage spells. Okay, my Conjurer Elendor got two spells. Greater Revelation, which is a improved form of Lesser Revelation. It's a larger radius, longer lasting light spell. And Shock Sphere, an improved uh, damage spell. Okay, now, uh, before I go back in the dungeon, I'm going to refill my spell points, and I'm going to do that off-camera. See you in a moment. Okay, we're back, and to be clear, what happened was uh, I put the emulator in warp mode and walked away and made some tea, and then came back. Although I have 
greater revelation. Um, I'm going to cast lesser revelation because if I remember correctly, I'm going to walk into darkness before it runs out anyway. You know, I'm still on the rhyme of duo time, which is why I'm getting these four attacks around. Should I risk it? Shock wave. Well, oh, that didn't go anywhere. An item. I bet it's another gem. An item she can use, yeah, it's almost certainly a gem. through the trap instead of disarming it. Looks like it did a total of one damage. Okay, so now I'm actually where this cursor is on the map. <coughs> so I'm going to explore this way. Because this is a path, these paths I've fully explored, but this I have not up in this way. <clears throat> so it's the same fight as before, but somehow because now I'm not just trying to get experience quickly and leave. I evaluate it as no spells, just kill them by hitting them. Which might be wrong. But it seems to be working out just fine. Okay. whole lot of gore droolers. Eleven in total. <clears throat> I 
I don't think this is challenging. I think it'll just take a while. Summons help and none appears. So that means they they spent their, you know, something might have appeared. They can make more copies of themselves or cause more to come in. I don't know whether they make a noise or if it's magical. It doesn't game game doesn't say. I don't even know how many experience points I need for the next level, but the last one was close to 20k, so this is probably even more. I think it uh, stabilizes at 400,000. I think level 14 and higher are 400,000. which are big enough values that you stop really paying attention to it, you just check every now and then. I'm really looking forward to Level 18, though. A spell spear is a thrown weapon that does decent damage that I never remember to use. Attack the wicked lurkers. And star flaring gore drillers. I guess wicked lurkers are not a challenge. was not looking forward to that. So I guess I still have enough spell points that I feel like I don't have to run out of the dungeon immediately, but kind of kind of close. If I get poisoned or insane or something, it might be a bad scene.
Oh, a shield staff, which is technically an upgrade. For Elendor. Not an important upgrade. Second Firehorn. Which means I can start using it pretty liberally. Oh, I forgot I have a I have the harmonic gem. And one that without a label, which makes it kind of one I just as soon use and get rid of. and stuff. Throw a spell spear at him. from arrows easily, something like that. Maybe I'm terrible archers. Poison blades. I am not messing around with that. I could poison everyone. Like a, it might, you know, it might be like just this entire vertical line is spell drain. This time I remembered they advance from 30 feet to right in front of us in one step. So I just attacked them. Oh, and that combat took place in the spell drain square, so it drained my spell points again. That feels unfair. I'm kind of going back to my old Bard's Tale 1 habits. Kick every wall. Just in case it's um, just in case there's like a secret secret door or something. Some level of secret that you don't know about. Which is probably a, kind of a good policy in this game because there are called odd that make your spells not work right but don't turn them off like your uh, secret door detecting light spell might still produce light but stop detecting secret doors for example which I think is kind of terrible. The worst one is you. there's a spell that allows you to detect special effects in the dungeon 
in front of you and it has an icon in this list here and the icon stays but it just doesn't detect anything anymore feels like a it's cheating against you or something They have a lot of hit points. But not anymore. So the um, transcription from the auto map looks like so far it's been pretty accurate. Check east, there's a wall, north and west have doors, going through the west door, yep, this room is flashing when I turn, so I think it's actually a spinner. I'm just having everyone attack the foul stalkers and ho fire horning the nefast masters. I don't think that's really going to kill anyone. Not the first round. Oh, it did. Now I'm going to have Grisnak try to finish off those. Everyone will attack the nefast masters. Everyone else. And the second Firehorn hit looks like it's mostly enough. Okay, so, where did I come out of that room? It says tunnels. I think it's always said tunnels for this level, and I just didn't notice. I didn't come out at all. Yeah, it was a spin all right, because, look, I just went north out of here, and the compass is saying west.
like this is the furthest northern extent of... Oh, why does it give me the crappy door? Give me the good door. Good door, please. No, 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 no that's fine. There we go. will lie, but if you turn, it, it fixes itself. So I've been here, and then I went back out here, and then I went back out here. Okay, so uh, I didn't really make it clear what I meant by spinner. A spinner is a spot on the map, or a place in the dungeon, where... Um, where you get randomly turned in a different direction every time you take an action on that square. Um, so if you turn left or wait or cast a spell or whatever. Uh, this is not going to be an edge. I can't get this to scroll at a reasonable rate. Can I do page up, page down? I can, but it doesn't do what I want it to. Oh, jeez. And I can't resize the stupid window either. Yeah, this is their handy way to pick icons that never, never fits anything on the screen. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I came up, I found the damn icon for, uh... The, um, rotating room or spinner. These aren't re these don't really feel like rotating rooms in this game, but whatever. The game call the mapper calls it a rotating room and it's close enough. And I also found an edge I could use to mark the expected boundary of the map. Which is also whoa, which is also the expected boundary is here. Okay, so I finally... Yeah, so every time you go through here, you don't know where you're gonna come out. Anyway, I finally found my way over this way, which is where I wanted to go. And it seems I have a fight. The main question I have over here is Does it wrap? Is there a wall?
Okay, so uh, there's a bard song, an anti, an anti bard song zone here. I decided to use a symbol marker for this because I couldn't come up with a fancy one that made sense. And it looks like indeed there's a wraparound printed here too. Patch of Darkness. I would think... Oh, stupid. Stupid program. It thinks this is a, a wall, even though I mean it as a line. So it won't let me move that little marker through it. I think this is not a darkness zone because it doesn't say darkness, even though it's dark. Uh, let's try to use a cheaper light source. Notice it doesn't shine as far. We can't see as far away. problems though with exploring this direction is I would prefer to put this over on this side but I don't know how far over it is um, there's probably a solution to that uh, who's got surprise sight that it's showing me things I can't see. That's, that's, that's cute. Um, cast. Okay, so this has us at 21 east. So, we're actually here. How do I get this to zoom out? There we go. And now I can't see the numbers. Okay, 
so... That's that room that crosses over the edge. a door here. Not a weird dotted line. Let's zoom back in. Oh, and now I'm in a hit point drain zone. That is that is great. expected. With the amount of points I'm down, I sort of suspect there was hit point training going on before I noticed. where I sing the healing song. Well, given the unequal distribution of the damage, I guess a fair amount of that was just slow attrition from the fights and spells and traps. to each other? I think I didn't even bother to check. No, we're not that close. Now we're next to each other. It takes a fair amount of damage, but goes down in the end. Aren't they all set on mithril plates? I think I am. 
Metro Plate. And you've got two Metro Plates now. Discard. Okay, a door to the north. Which leads to a little cubby. just a gap. So on this side, where I earlier recorded a wall from the auto map I was guessing. I'm, I don't know that I'm ever going to come here again, so I'm going to explore this seemingly dead end while I'm here. And we got a light. Oh, I got a day blade. Let's use that. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, I got a day blade before the emulator crashed. That's right. So, don't have it anymore. I have no idea what that weapon is that I never identified. Okay, um, that's where I am. A, there's a boundary there. I don't know why my bard song stopped. Did it say silence? Did I miss it? Well, that wine skin does not have wine in it. Water does not make bards go. Yeah, there's a silence zone here. And here, probably here, maybe I didn't even notice. Probably thought my bard song expired.
You know, one way to get out of a dungeon, if you get stuck, is to die. Like, for real, it, um, you, <laughs> you got teleported back to the, uh, um, save spot, the adventures, the refugee camp, and you get saved as dead, whether you like it or not. And then you can, uh, figure out how to raise the money there. Resurrect your dead characters. Which gets you out of the dungeon, which is always better than nothing. This one, not, not what I meant to do. This one has a normal wall there. Though we have another silence zone. I think they're going a little nuts with these. Oh, Harmonic Gem. It actually pretty much guarantees I'll be able to escape this dungeon. I was pretty sure I could make it, but I don't really want to fight one. Oh, fine. I'll fight one. Adept Demon. Because it's not going to give me many experience points. It's going to take time. I don't think it's going to give me any treasure. Damage by staring. It is a thing. They do respectable damage when I don't have any of my armor buffs going.
Mithril arrows, I guess, are good. They do reasonable damage, like 20-ish, 30-ish, as opposed to like the 7-ish that normal arrows do. Oh, and there's a there's a wraparound door. Oop. That's the wrong. It's the wrong one. over here. So there was a door here. Or a one-way wall or something I had to kick through. This was darkness for... Oh, because I came in this way and then left again. And then this is darkness too. And so is this and so is this. That's a real wall. Okay. And how about this one? Is this a real wall? Yes. To the south is also a real wall.
this turns out to be a 2x2 two two room. Door over here. If I go through the door, there's another door. accidentally pressed enter and went through the second door. Yep. Oh my god, and there's the door to the north. And I'm running away. Because at this point I'm really sort of trying to just leave. Go to the south. Yet another door. There's a door. East. East, there's a door. It's all doors all day. No, wait, that was north. How do I get turned around? side of wall and the south side of wall so this is a little cubby oh and I just found a poison gas cloud Luckily, only one of them got poisoned. And how much did we explore this space before? This is the boundary, so we did. So we actually we found out there's a wall like this, and this is a one-way wall back through. And there's no wall here. Is, where's our one way wall? Here. Okay. And this has also got darkness. Now we found the chaos word again. We found our way back to it.
just accidentally walked into the darkness again when I wanted to turn west and see what was there. Meanwhile, my, sp my compass expired. Oh, because this is anti-magic or something. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So, this is our not so great progress. Uh, we used to have this part mapped, now we added this and a good percentage of this far right thing, leaving probably over half unmapped and quite a bit of the spell point drain. Assumed. I mean, this this bar and this segment make me think that this goes over. Anyway, uh, lots left to do on Catacombs 2. is going to be um, replenishing my spell points again. Um, and then returning for more mapping of the catacombs. <laughs> 